Much of the trouble in Vermont is matched across the border in northern New York State today, where several towns and villages have been devastated by the flooding. And CBS News national correspondent Jim Axelrod is in the town of Wyndham in the Catskill Mountains north of New York City this morning. Jim, good morning to you. Well, good morning, Jeff. You know, in the wake of Hurricane Irene, there was a lot of grumbling that perhaps a threat had been exaggerated and overblown. Maybe the best thing for the critics to do is to come right here to Wyndham, New York. After a full day taking in the damage, I'm gonna just cry. I just go. the people of Wyndham, New York, still can't quite believe what they're seeing. It appears as though a meteorite landed. It's utter devastation. It's shocking and mind-boggling. And our sleepy, quaint little village was two days ago a great gem, uh, a getaway place for folks. And and now it's 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 devastated. It's it's, it's tragic. It's tragic. In a space of a few hours Sunday, Irene dumped more than 10 inches of rain on a Wyndham that was already soggy. The creeks turned into raging rivers. Up to four feet came rushing down Main Street. Homes, businesses, even this empty school bus were washed away. What was so different than anything else you've ever seen by way of a storm? The quickness. It, it, it evolved on us like the, the flick of a light switch. We right. thought we were going to lose electricity. At most. Anthony is Schreiber's business, a day spa she's owned for five years, is totaled. The second floor is fine, but that's where she lives. This is the first floor, where all her inventory and space for massages and treatments were wiped out. While she's in tears this morning, she also considers herself lucky. We're lucky. In comparison to others, we have our building. Other people have nothing. Their homes are gone. Antonia Schreiber is not alone. We counted about a dozen businesses up and down Main Street that were badly damaged, if not completely destroyed. Antonia says she will rebuild, but she does not have flood insurance. Jeff? Jim Axelrod in Wyndham. Jim, thank you.